All right, everyone, welcome to Seduce Me the Atome. So I'm here to kind of mess up or rib to make up for the mistakes I made. So apparently you are supposed to say I love them. <laughs> uh, it was one of my errors. I didn't want to show the rest because it would end up involving like a whole bunch of like watching and I could skip, but I just I felt like it was more unprofessional. Diana stared in shock at my explanation. Was it not what she expected? I didn't care what she expected. I wasn't going to lose the man I had grown to love. Yes, I love him. Diana's lips twitched, the edge edges curling into an amused smirk as she stared at me. So what? A human's love isn't enough to understand the situation. A demon can never reciprocate human feeling. To both of our surprise, however, Sam stepped forward and put an arm around me, pulling me close to his body. I love her. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it wasn't... I saw the confidence Diana had shattered in her eyes as she stared at Sam at his words. I could see the struggle in her face to try and find some weakness in Sam. In me. Anything. A demon love a human. Impossible. Are you deaf? I said I love her. You don't have the brains to understand what love is. It's not just a human emotion. Demons like us can feel it too. You just have your head so far up your ass that you refuse <laughs> to see it. Just like how you refuse to see that you lost. Oh my. Diana took a step back, physically feeling the sting of Sam's words in her chest. She had lost. I could see it in her eyes. Diana's eyes grew dull as she glared at me and Sam. It seemed almost uncharacteristic of her, yet it was something I wasn't surprised to see to come from her face. Very well. Fine. And with that, Diana faded into the ground, into a purple pentagram, crossing her arms and almost looking upset. Sam and I were then left alone with the silence of the room. I found it out there. I was unconsciously holding in my chest, relaxing from the ordeal. Sam stepped to me and held me gently, surprising me. You all right? I nodded in response, unable to speak so immediately after being surprised. Sam let out a sigh, relaxing in the embrace. I gently placed my hands around him, returning the embrace lightly. I could hear Sam's heartbeat. He held me close in his arms and I felt safe beyond words. Thank you for defending me. There's no way I'd let her hurt the one I love. I looked up at Sam, surprised at what he said. Sam blushed, moving a strand of my hair for my face to look down at me. I'm an asshole, yeah. Do I deserve to like you? No. I don't deserve to be holding you now. But you, I just, I love you, okay? I love you. No. <laughs> I stared wide-eyed, blushing like a maniac. Was this real? No way. This couldn't be real. Was Sam confessing to me? Confessing his love for me? Sham. Sham? <laughs> Sam gently. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm all flustered. No. <laughs> Sam gently caressed my cheek, staring into my eyes with a loving, almost hopeful expression. The warmth of his hand invited me to nuzzle into it, and I closed my eyes. This wasn't a dream. My heart was pounding to the point where I was sure Sam could hear it. Sam gently leaned in, closing his eyes. He stopped, however, remaining just a mere torturous inch away from my lips. He wanted to show my feelings for him. He had let himself open for me to kiss him or leave him empty. The power I had was unbelievable. Oh, man. Uh, kiss him. Kiss him, you fool. I loved him and wanted to give him exactly what he wanted. I gently leaned in, letting my lips finally touch his gingerly. Sam let out almost a surprise gasp against my lips before wrapping both of his arms around my waist, pulling me close to him. I moved my arms up around in his neck, uh, feeling the kiss between us deep into a heated height. My chest was pounding, making me feel and see fireworks in my mind. Sam was everything I desired. He was the man I wanted, demon or not. It was also supernatural, haha, <laughs> to fall in love with someone so quickly. Maybe it was the sense magic I was thrown into. Maybe it was Cupid playing with my heart. Either way, I found myself melting at the thought of him being with me. I found myself combing my fingers through Sam's hair, making the man... Okay, making the man holding me softly tremble at my touch. He gently nibbled on my lower lip, asking me to deepen the kiss between us even further. I easily teased him before finally opening my mouth slightly for him. His tongue gently danced with mine as one of his hands slid up my back and cradled my head. He gently leaned my lower back, or er, my body back, making me cling to him as the heat of our kiss rose higher and higher. Gently though, Sam slowed the kiss down and pulled away, staring down at me. His eyes burned for me, wanting me to melt and buckle on his arms. I could feel myself melt already. 
Sam would open his mouth to speak, but as a very small blush ran along his cheeks, he was reduced to shy silence. I stared as he tried to find the words to say in my eyes. I knew exactly what he wanted. He didn't have any energy, though, right? Are you... No, I just... I stare wide-eyed, feeling a blush on my cheeks grow. He didn't say anything more, but I knew what words would have followed if he continued. He wanted me. I was stunned. Was I that appealing to him? Was his passion really that deep for me? Sam gently nuzzled my forehead, losing the blush and finally being able to speak. If you don't want to, we don't have to. I mean, it's up to you. I could feel my mind go numb at the and purr at the idea. A moment with an incubus. He is a demon of sex, the purest form of lust and desire. My world would rock and I would enjoy every second of it. At the same time, I was indeed inexperienced. Diana wasn't wrong when she claimed me to be innocent. Did I want to give that innocence to him, especially this early? I found myself forgetting the words yes and no. What could I say to him? I knew then that I wanted what I wanted, but how to say it without breaking the moment. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like me. Um, do it. <laughs> I couldn't believe the two words that came out of my mouth. It made me, it made the most sense to tell him yes. I needed him. I wanted him. Those two words must have made something in him finally break. Sam Jan quickly wrapped his arms around me, and all of a sudden I felt wind pat Ah, wind breeze passed me as the world zipped by. I gripped to Sam Oganus. I gripped to Sam despite it lasting a mere second. When the world relaxed, I was in my bedroom, on my bed with Sam above me. He was red in the face, but he had a look of determination that was quickly fading. I stared as Sam like quickly realized what he was doing. He sat up, growing even more red in the face. I giggled before sitting up and caressing his cheek with a knowing smile. He must have been nervous. I was too, but I wanted this to happen. I wanted to see him and give myself to him. I gently guided his head to me, kissing him slowly and bringing him back into the mood. It was okay to be nervous. We'd work through this together. Sam let his vest slide down his arms and tossed it to the side before creating my head in his hands and kissing me deeply. I felt heat rise in my body, making me undo the tie underneath my collar and release the buttons on my own shirt. Quickly I removed my shirt and vest, making Sam stop kissing me and stare in slight surprise. I was simply in a bra, but I could feel blush invade my cheeks. My shy side began to fester in my mind. Did I really want this? To undress before a demon? No, this was the man I loved, and yet I felt my innocence shape over me in an almost a shame. As if he knew, Sam, dressed, Sam, Sam gently caressed my cheek, smiling before removing his own shirt and revealing his chest. Sam gently held me in his arms, constantly looking to me to make sure I was okay. It warmed my heart to see him being concerned, but I knew that our heat needed to be fulfilled. Sam pulled me close, knowing I was still shy, and began to kiss my lips over and over. Each kiss was his promise to keep me safe, keep me comfortable, love me. I kept my arms wrapped around Sam, taking each kiss he gave and giving my own kisses in return. I didn't know if it was the fact that we were both top, uh, both top nude or maybe I just craved his touch, but I didn't want to let him go. However, as he held me, I could feel slightly this I could slightly feel the shiver of his hands. Was I his first? He wasn't going to tell me. He wanted me to enjoy this moment, but was afraid of screwing up. His shivering hand showed me his emotions perfectly. As he laid me down and knelt over me, Sam smiled and finally embraced me as we both desired. The pleasure between us would be heavenly and we'd go through it together. I closed my eyes and gave myself to Sam. My body, my mind, my soul, it all belonged to him as he held me. His body, his mind, his soul, it all belonged to me as I gave him to his brace. His kisses and fingers over my skin would forever engrave themselves into my memory as our passion rose to incredible heights. Our breaths and moans to each other equally sounded and echoed like a blissful chance we never wished to end. We kept moving, loving, feeling every inch of our bodies until we had had enough and I was enveloped in his embrace. Skin to skin, heartbeats matching, we held each other in the glow of the aftermath. I nuzzled my head under Sam's chin as he held me close. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I love you too. Just to hear those words come from Sam's mouth made my heart flutter. To hear me answer made my soul warm and glee. I could feel both of us sink into a peaceful sleep together. It was the best sleep I had in days, and I was happy. I had love, and I had my happiness. My sleep was simply perfect. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring into Sam's bare chest. I blushed but looked up to see Sam still sleeping. His sleeping face made me giggle softly, but the reality of the situation made my heart flutter.
I couldn't believe it. I was lying next to a man I had grown to love with all my heart. His warm embrace made me feel safe, and as the tender moment we just shared replayed in my head, I couldn't help but smile and snuggle into his chest further. Unconsciously, he held me tighter to his body, giving me more of his warmth. I didn't want to move, but then my core suddenly tightened and made me sit up without waking the man next to me. I felt my legs move and bring me to my balcony window where I opened the glass and stepped out into the patio. Oh goodness. Diana's still hanging around, eh? I stare wide-eyed at Diana, who sat cross-legged on the railing at my balcony with her glowing red eyes staring upon, stare upon me. I open my mouth to object, but Diana stopped me. Before you get all huffy, I didn't come here to take your precious man away. <laughs> By the way, how was it? <laughs> Well, I glared. What do you want, Diana? Well, I just wanted to see how you truly feel. You know, without him around to influence you. Alright, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we're, we're saving. Just because I don't know if there's, like, another thing that I have to do. What are you talking about? I'm giving you an opportunity to come clean about these feelings of yours. And to give you your salvation. What was Diana up to? This was beyond crazy. Nothing she had done made sense. Why was I still alive at this rate? What's keeping you from just killing me and taking them? <laughs> you are not worth my time. Ooh, savage. Not worth your time? What are you? Afraid something might happen? Oh, trust me. Whoops. Dear. I'm not afraid to kill you. I can drop you right now and leave your body to rot until the morning when the boys would find you. I wanted to speak, but the thought of her letting go and letting me fall to my death scared my voice into silence. Diana then chuckled and wheeled my body back to the balcony, setting me down gently. I guess the line we skipped was her just like forcing Mika to hover over the balcony. Alas, if I kill you, then the boys would never come with me willingly back to the demon world, and then I'd have to chase them all around the world, or kill them and drag them back, but then their father would mm -hmm. be happy and blah blah blah. Too much work. Diana seemed very business oriented. As if the boys were cargo more than men. It irked me, but then she smiled. I'm giving you one chance to denounce your love for the demon in your bed. And let me take him and the other boys back to the demon world. And why, may I ask, would I do that? There are so many reasons why, actually. There's the reason that he's a demon and you're a human. So you two can never truly have a happily ever after. Then there's the reason that demons truly do not know how to love. Despite what you may proclaim, the list goes on and on. The point is, if you give me the boys, I will promise you eternal happiness. Uh, what? <laughs> eternal happiness? That's right. I have the power to give you anything you desire. Power, men, women, money, fame. Name it and it's yours. A demon never goes back on their word and I have the power to obtain anything you wish. Our deal is our contract. I could only stare in shock. This was a dream. It had to be. However, Diana smiled an almost genuine smile at me, shaking me to the reality of the situation. She would never smile like that. Don't you wish to be free of your destiny? Your father constantly berating you to become the next CEO of your grandfather's company. How did you... I was almost floored and surprised. How did Diana know all of this? She was a succubus, yes, but how could she know anything beyond sexual desire? She wasn't Damien. Diana chuckled and leaned back against her arms. Just because I play with hearts and sex doesn't mean I don't know my way around the human mind. You happen to be an open book of information, but I digress. I can give you your freedom with ease. It'll be like you were always meant to have it. All I ask is that you hand over the boys. What do you say? Was I seriously being, being given this choice? The man I love for anything I wanted? A demon like Diana was powerful enough, yes, but did I even want to consider giving up the man I loved? Hut, hell no! <laughs> she must have been crazier than I thought. I glared. Absolutely not. Diana sighed and stood up onto the railing. What I wasn't expecting her was lifting me into the air. I tried to scream, but my, scream, but my voice suddenly became locked in silence. What was Diana doing? Diana made me float over to her and she smirked as we touched noses. Well, if I can't return home with the boys, I might as well return home with the power to fight back. 
Diana finally leaned in and kissed me. I shut my eyes, feeling the need to bite her lips, but finding no muscles in my face listening to my mental commands. What did she do to me? I didn't want to enjoy it, but every single nerve in my body was flaring in excitement and pleasure as she kissed me. I felt my energy drain slowly but forcefully from my body. Was she using her magic to force energy out of my body? It seemed like forever, but finally, Diana pulled away from the kiss with a smile and a lick of her lips. She lowered me back onto the patio and chuckled. For some reason, even though nothing seemed to have changed, she looked stronger, powerful. It was almost like looking at a new Diana. Diana then stepped back off of the railing, making me catch my breath in my throat. As she took another step away from me, she looked to be simply walking on the night air. Diana smirked my sudden surprise. May you never regret your choice, human. If you do, I'll happily come and take it away. With a flick of her hair, Diana turned and walked away into the night, fading into the darkness like a shadow. I watched her fade away before looking at the man to the man in my bed. Did I make the right choice? My heart gave a gentle thump, giving me my answer. I did, and I will never regret it for as long as I live. I walked back inside and gently crawled back into the bed with the, within the embrace of the safest arms I knew. I snuggled close to the, to the warm before closing my eyes. I was happy. The rest of the story can almost be passed over. With Diana gone, my life returned to normal with school and my friends not remembering what had happened. It was as if magic never even appeared in my world. One thing was for certain, though, where Sam loved me and I loved him just as much. We had promised our lives to each other and nothing was going to take that away from us, not even time myself. Our love was so powerful, it practically overwhelmed me with joy every time I found him holding me close every morning. To think a demon in love with a human like me, it was unthinkable, unbelievable, it was practically impossible. But it was true. The other boys decided to leave of their own accord. They knew that my future would only need Sam at my side, so they decided to start their own lives in the human world. Sam understood perfectly, wishing his brothers the best. Besides, Sam had someone new to care for now. His brothers didn't need to worry about him now that he was caring for me. I felt bad as well for being closer to Sam than the others, but they reassured me that I was okay and that they would remain nearby if should I ever need them. I was happy for that. They made me promise, however, that I would love Sam for as long as we lived. That promise was instantly given. But what of my future? Well, it was kind of made for me. Before I graduated, James decided to step into the light of the Anderson's Toy Company, and with the help of his demon powers and leadership charisma, he managed to influence not only the entire board, but my father as well, into letting him run for CEO. Oh goodness, I was beyond shocked. How James managed to do all that was beyond me. But when the vote was called, James had taken over the company I was destined to have. He, voted to, he vowed to respect the wishes of the late CEO and help the company become an even grander company. For Demon, it was, a simple, it was simple to make a huge company grand. My grandfather would have been proud to see how James helped it shine. With the CEO position filled, my father had no choice but to let me decide my future, which made me happy beyond compare. No longer would I have the future scaring me into a corner. I could choose my life on my own. That being said, I was so scared of where the future was going to take me. What did I want to do? Did I want to help James build a company? Did I want to venture off on my own? Sam reassured me that he would support me and help me through whatever I decided to do. I was grateful and would never forget that promise. I was happy and nothing could shake me down for that happiness. One afternoon, a good couple of years after the boys and I had met, I had a moment to myself, so I wandered to my house. I wandered my house and took in all that mag uh, that happened as if it was all a dream. The demons, the devils, the magic. It was it all was surreal to believe. It almost frightened me to think that it could have all been a dream. But the warm feeling in my heart reminded me that it was all real. The demons, the magic, the love I had, all real. I smiled as I held my hands to my chest, relishing in the feelings dancing within my soul. I let out a happy sigh before looking up and seeing where I had wandered to. I realized I was standing in the hallway near my bedroom. I guess I didn't wander far. How the hell did I end up here? <laughs> I stopped at the sound of Sam's voice. It sounded distant, but yet he was clear as day. I looked around to land my sight on an open window. He must have been on the roof again. I tiptoed over and listened further, wanting to know what he meant. It's been years and I still can't believe I'm here. To think I wanted to leave in the first place. Uh, I smiled. I quickly remembered when we had first met. He is my first kiss after all. Uh, and I, of course, at the worst <laughs> I stifled my giggles. He was thinking of the kiss too. It was adorable to hear him reminiscing and mentally slapping himself. Nah, I guess I can't take back the past. I can only make sure she gets what she deserves from now on. Huh? 
I didn't understand. He already gave me everything I wanted. He was practically mine already. What more could he give me? Alright, Sam. No more buckets. I'll call up James and learn how to be a proper man. And be strong enough to support her no matter what comes our way. I could not believe what I was hearing. Sam was willing to change for me. I felt both honored and guilty. I didn't want to change. Want him to change. I loved him for him, no one else. I quickly went to the window and stepped up to grab the rooftop. Thank God I had upper body strength. My sudden, my suddenly hand placement scared Sam. <laughs> what? What the? <laughs> Help me up, Sam. Sam looked down at me in surprise before grabbing my arms and lifting me up into the roof with him. However, I landed once again in his lap with his arms around me. What the hell are you doing? And how long are you there? <laughs> long enough to hear everything, Sam. I don't want you to change. Sam stared, looking lost as to what to say to my words. As I cracked his chief with a smile, it was true, though. He had faults, sure, but who didn't? I enjoyed his company and enjoyed every part of his personality. Sam gently moved his head and buried his face in my palm, closing, my, his, closing his eyes and absorbing what I had said. He gently opened his eyes partially, staring past my hand. You do realize that I'm a brute, right? That was my nickname in the abyssal planes. I'm a brute. A monster. I'm not what someone can really want. Sam. Sam finally looked at me, a look of hopelessness in his eyes. You're what I want. You're not a brute, and you're not a monster. I gently guided Sam's face down with my hand and kissed him softly, reminding him of my touch and reaffirming my words. He stared at me as if his greatest wish had come true. I fought back a giggle at the sight. Sam gently pulled me to him, hugging me to his chest. I nuzzled into Sam's chest, hearing his gentle heartbeat and memorizing its tempo. What the heck? You know the song? Sam chuckled softly, the sound of his laughter sending happy waves down my spine. Sam smiled down at me and kissed the top of my head. It's your ringtone, doofus. I practically memorized it. <laughs> I smiled and giggled up at Sam. It was adorable to see him like this. I then felt bold and straightened up to tower Sam a little. Hey, what are you? I simply smiled before kissing Sam's forehead, then very gently over his eyelids. I love you, Sam. Sam held me and closed his eyes. I could tell he didn't want to let me go. I didn't want to wake up as if this was indeed a dream. I felt light as a feather, not wanting to ever let go of this man in my arms. There are no words I could ever describe the emotions within me. I felt joy, happiness, ecstatic, high, all at once. Here I was, holding the man I would be with forever, under the beautiful orange sky on the roof of my mansion. I had gained the heart of a demon, no, of a man I loved. I vowed to cherish him and love him for the remainder of my days and beyond. Could a demon love a human forever? I knew Sam would. And that was my heavily ever after. <laughs> and Sam's acceptance, eh? Hey. <laughs> New password unlocked, Demon War, what? What? Well. This is, uh, interesting. So, yeah, that was the perfect ending, I believe. Whoa, what's this? Okay, so the credits roll when you get the perfect ending, I guess, for a character. Oh, what a beautiful song. Alright, I'm gonna try to be quiet so you guys can hear it. I'll also turn up the sound. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Shoot, can I go back? Oh, goodness. Wait, how are we on time? 23 minutes, we have enough time. <laughs> um, load. Wait, hold on. First off, I wanna. Yeah, we're gonna increase the music. That way you guys can hear that song better. I did not wanna skip it. Let me go ahead and load. Which one did I. This one, right? Alright, we're just gonna skip all this. I know I. I you know. <laughs> it's just. There's no more, like, option things, so. There we go. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I missed it. No. Okay, is there like a... Ah, oh, credits? Is this it? I wanted to watch that thing again. I didn't want to skip it. Oh, I'm so, I'm so bad. Alrighty. Opening trailer. Ending video. Is this it? Yes, this is it. Okay. <laughs> 
apologize for my blunders. Actually, that sounds too loud. Let me... There we go. Hopefully it's not too loud now. That was a very beautiful ending song. I, I'm actually all teary eyed now from that because I'm listening to the song and it, 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 it appeals to me, and I'm pretty sure it appeals to a lot of you as well. Because let's talk about some of the lyrics. You know, know the choices that you made were right. I've had many doubts in my life, especially now. I mean, uh, now that I I've moved, I graduated high school last year. It's been a whole year since, in theory, I've been in college. And it, it's just, it's been a very, very rough time recently. Because I've been trying to find a job, can't find one. 
I don't really have a way to pay rent right now, and I'm, I'm, it's panicking. I'm, I'm panicking. But that song really kind of reassured me in a way, and I truly believe that I, I can perhaps get out of this mess. And I hope that whatever struggles you guys have as well, you guys take a moment, think about that song. Even though it was mainly made for this game, it's a truly beautiful song. Uh, and it, it touched my heart, it really did. This game has been amazing. I know I went over this last time, but it's been amazing. And I, I that song just really did it in for me. I could listen to that over and over again, but I won't because <laughs> it's like midnight and my neighbors probably are, they could probably hear it playing and I don't want to disturb them. So, yeah, I want to kind of hear what you guys have thought about this game. And if you guys want to see the other routes, which I probably will record them regardless, just because I had really, I had a fun time. Really fun time. It had been a really fun time. Now, the beginning episode, episode one, probably won't be uh, re recorded. We'll probably only change it to whenever the decisions we make start mattering. So I can probably tell you guys when that actually does happen. I will look up the guides for the other ones because I want perfect endings. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it is for me. Um, I don't know what else to say besides if you guys haven't played this before, I recommend you try it out. If Unless it's like not your genre. Like I said, I can't really handle horror. So the chances of me ever playing a horror game are low. If Atoma games aren't your thing, then you know, that's fine. Just... I'm glad you were able to watch through with me and kind of enjoy the story with me because that this is a very beautiful story. Uh, uh, it's kind of sad that like it, it's ending like this. <laughs> I don't want it to. There is Seduce Me too. there's the other routes, but you know, with the ending of a story, there's always that bittersweet feeling, that joy in your heart, that happiness. I have a giant smile on my face, but I, I'm, it's also sad because we've close the book for Sam's route uh, for now at least I don't know if there's any else we can do with him but yeah like I said before if you're a guy it shouldn't matter if you enjoyed this or not it really shouldn't I don't think that has to matter if you enjoyed it and you're a guy don't feel ashamed don't feel bad don't start having weird thoughts in your head uh, weird meaning well it can mean many things. <laughs> um, but yeah, just don't panic. And if you did enjoy this, just because it was an Atoma game, I don't, I don't see what the big issue is. Don't let society kind of bring you down because of it. You know, just kind of think it was a beautiful story. Yeah, of course I would enjoy it. Stuff like that. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I guess that's it for now. And uh, I guess... If you guys want me to play more games like this, I probably will, just because I want to. But if you guys want to see more or have any games you'd recommend, then go ahead and tell me. I really would like to play more and more and more and more, and that's just how I am. <laughs> so I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed getting to share my first experience with this game with you guys, and I hope to share many more experiences in the future. So until next time. Bye, guys.